Hello all. Today we are going to see the CRUD operations using JSP and Hibernate. I am going to implement this example in NetBeans. So this is going to be our project structure. We are going to have a model class. We are going to have a DAO layer. We are going to have a DAO implementation layer. And we are going to have a controller and a couple of view pages. So first let's start creating by creating a project Java web application CRUD Hibernate jsp and server is clash with server and let's include the hypernet framework so here the first step is like we are creating a model class and marking this as an entity and our primary key is going to be an auto generated value so let's create a java package and let's create the employee details class so this is going to implement serializable and I'm going to mark this as an entity so you might have to import java x dot persistence dot entity and java dot io dot serializable and first we are going this as a mark this as a primary key and we are going to mark as an auto generated value string name we are going to have a couple of string fields employee name and employee number then let's create the getters and setters so let's save this so our next step is going to create a DAO layer So we are going to implement the four methods here, abstract methods. We might have to import the employee details class and util.list. So you have a four methods here. Uh, one is like inserting that that's saving the employee and listing all the employees and update an employee and delete an employee. So next is like we are going to implement the DAO implementation layer. First, let's create a Hibernate Util class. It's going to be next. Let's create the implementation class. It's gonna be IMPR. So, here we are going to create the Hibernate session and a transaction. We are going to perform the operation and we are going to commit the transaction and close the session. So it's and for the list we are using a query. We are creating a query from employee details because we are going to list all the employees from the database and we are showing it as a list. And next for updating and deleting the employees. So let's copy this code. So we might have to import the employee details. Uh, we are going to import the session for hibernate transaction and for the hibernate session oog import oog dot oog dot hibernate dot session 
www.org.hyperlink.transaction we also have a list here the list product list so i think that's the only input we have or oh, we might have to input the query too so input query so we have imported everything so okay so this is going to be our implementation layer so after this we are going to have a controller so we might the control is not a java class it's going to be a servlet so actually the control is based in the last after the view, view pages has been designed so this is going to be a servlet employee controller So before moving further, we might have to configure the hibernate.cfg.xml. So what we are going to do is like we are going to include this property hibernate hbmdl.auto. It can be create or update. So here I am going to use the create. Okay. So this mapping class, which we marked as an entity, so my username is root. Uh, I don't have a password. Okay. So the difference between update and create is whenever you reboot the application, when you use create functionality, it just erases the table and creates a new records. But if you use update, if the records are already there in the database, it will just add the additional records. It, it, it will just update the table rather than creating a complete new set of records. So our next step, we are going to create a couple of JSP pages. The employee add and show all. So it's going to be JSP employee. Sorry, add dot JSP and another page is show all dot JSP. Let's take a little time. So in employee.out add.jsp what we are going to select we are just going to have a table and we are going to have a form action which passes the sum on submit to go to the employee control servlet and our method is get so we are going to get the input for employee name and employee number and we are going to pass this to the servlet and from servlet we are going to save this in the database so first I'll include it here. Employee dot add. Just replacing this. this. Title can be anything. So we are we have another form here. This form is a post method of uh, which will take us to the next page, which will list the emp complete employees. So first. This is done. Uh, next thing, let's just finish the show all form.
so I have used the JSTL tag here so we, we must include the JSTL too so this is the JSTL tag library and I have a couple of jQuery functionalities added uh, that I'll explain you what this jQuery functionality do here So our next step we have to include the necessity libraries in our project let's right click on the project and go to properties libraries and we have to add the library for JSTL and for MySQL so it's gonna be like JSTL MySQL so Let's click on OK. So now let's see the output for this. We have to complete the servlet. So let's go to the employee controller servlet. And just remove this process request here. As we are going to use the get method and set method, I mean get and post methods first. Okay. I'm just creating an object for employee details and DAO IMPL here. I'm going to import them. So first for let's see our HTML I mean JSP first thing we are going to insert an employee using a get method so first we are filling the get method so if request our parameter if add employee button is this add employees button is clicked this function should get executed and I'm using record dispatcher for forwarding to the next page once the operations are done That's another one error here to remove the process request. Okay. So what's the next? In do post we have three employees. One is that we are going to show employee, update and delete employee using the post methods. So what I have done is like I am getting a list and I am just passing all the employees for the list and passing the list to the JSP page and I am going to display using JSTL and this request dispatcher will pass to the next JSP so similarly for the update method I am getting the uh, employee name and employee number from the user and I am going to update them for that specific record using this ID one so next thing is deleting the employee I am just getting the ID from the user and I am going to delete that specific employee so first let's copy these methods In paste it inside to post we might have to input the list and array list so before running I am going to set the welcome page here it's not going to be index.html it's going to be employee add.html jsp and uh, i am changing the browser to google here and let's right click and run this project so let's run this project now run file so here we are going to add a couple of employees Four, five, six. Add.
Uh, it's been added. Next second employee. So both the employees are added. Now let's check our database whether the values are entered. Yeah, we have a couple of employees alpha and beta both has been entered here. Now let's create show. This uh, this will list the complete couple of the, both the employees in this page. Let's see. Okay, so here comes a couple of employees ID1, alpha, and alpha number, ID2, beta, and beta number. So I have used a jQuery function for this function based on update and delete to perform certain operations. I have used a jQuery page. So let's see. So this hide and show is based on jQuery page, but I think I forgot to include the jQuery package. One second. Yeah, just included, forgot to include the jQuery min.js. Okay, let's just refresh this page. So now let's update the specific record. Let's update the record to for beta. Instead of beta, I'm going to give us Charlie. Um, the number I'm going to give us three, four, five, six, seven. Let's update. Um, it's been updated. Let's check the database. Yeah, the beta has been updated to Charlie, and the E number is three, four, five, six, seven. Now let's again go for show, and now let's delete a specific record. Let's delete the record one alpha record. So this will be disabled because we are going to only use the ID of that record to delete. So ID is one and we are going to delete that ID. Now it's been deleted. Let's see here. See the alpha one is deleted and we have only one record. So this is performing the card operations using JSP and Hibernate. I have already provided the link to download the source code. The link has been already included in the same page at the bottom. Can download the source code here. I have included all the JSP files and SRC files. And when you import and run this in the NetBeans, just don't forget to include the libraries JSTL and MySQL. And if you have any queries, just do mail me. You can contact me from this site. Just use the contact me and you can contact me. Thank you until we meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Have a great day.